Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 Lamborghini My Team Career Mode Here today for part 22 for the Austrian Grand Prix In what is our first sprint race of the season as well But before we get to the sprint, here we are in qualifying And we're looking to start towards the front After an excellent result last night in Canada We come out with a lot of confidence into this weekend but first of all, we cross the line and it's provisional pole position which will stay pole position as the rain came down towards the end of the session as you can see here, we've got no grip we've lost it, we've spun round I don't know minutes. what Mark's talking about we're doing a good job out there, we've just spun but that's been our qualifying we're on pole for the sprint let's get into it so it is all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Brown lines up on pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Sainz, Sonoda, Norris, Verstappen, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Joe, Leclerc, Gasly, Ocon, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Bottas, Hamilton, Magnussen, De Vries, Fittipaldi, Albert, Liam Lawson, and Logan Sargent. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We will soon find out. So we're on the grid here for the sprint. We're alongside our championship rival, George Russell, as I do believe we have the car now to fight for the championship. I thought about starting on the softs, but we just went with the mediums, follow the crowd. But here we go then, for the Austria Sprint, we are racing and we've got a good start. We go straight over to cover off George Russell. Down into the first corner, we have the lead. And there's a Ferrari and Lando Norris in the McLaren going for it. But now, it's important we break the toe as we head up the hill to turn three. Now George is too far back to have a go at us. As we come out of turn three, we have a bit of a tighter line, but we get the exit ahead of George. Now though, can we just get away, break the DRS? That would be the ideal situation. As we head into turn four, George is very much still right on our gearbox so far. And on lap one, towards the end of lap one, George had a look up the inside there at that very blind corner. Out of turn one now on lap two, we have a very poor exit and George is alongside us as we head down into turn three. George is on the outside, we're going to show him the door and Lando Norris has seen a chance to get up the inside of George there. Catches him up and George nearly puts Lando on the grass. So Lando's going to give him a little nudge back as they head down towards turn four. And this has allowed us to create a small gap, but Lando couldn't get the exit and George just stays ahead so after trying to gain one he doesn't lose one in the end it could have gone so badly wrong for him there but this was just allowing us to get away you can see the gap there we've broken the drs 1.1 seconds up the road as now these two go wheel to wheel up the inside goes lando there it's a bit argy bargy there as they come out to turn three i think george has held on to it yes he has but lando not yet should have the DRS on lap 4, up the inside, he goes trying to go to the outside, goes Lando, keeps it pinned round the outside, he's learnt from his mistake earlier on, and he's into P2, and that's good for the championship for us, as now here comes George back at Lando here into turn 1, trying to go round the outside, you can see the count we're pulling now, it's over 2 seconds, as 
as George gets the job done, Lando has to tuck into the slipstream. George with the DRS, but now Lando will have the DRS back as they come out of turn three now. Can Lando get the exit? It looks like he has. As further back is Logan Sargent. His engine has gone bang in that Williams, the Mercedes engine. Not lasting. I don't think that's really going to have a big effect on the result for him. Um, I don't think that's going to really affect his Sunday either. But anyway, back at the front, we're just pulling away from these two because Lando is going back at George to the outside. He gets the exit, but I think he, he was ahead at the apex. So George will have the DRS back to have a go at Lando and get him back but he's too far back to do anything and there's a long train now behind these two the Ferrari the Red Bull the two Red Bulls in fact behind these this battle on to lap 11 then of 12 Lando started to pull away and George had come under threat from Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari Sainz trying to go round the outside Sainz getting the exit alongside George has the DRS as well I think they both do in fact George on board with him now Sight has he got the bravery to go round the outside of turn four it looks like he has and he has got the pace and he's up into P3 and all that battling for P2 has cost him in the end he looks like he may have run out of tyres onto the final lap of the sprint George now is coming back at Carlos Sainz. Sainz forces him right to the inside and there's almost contact surely. And the Red Bull of Max Verstappen now. He's trying to find a way through and he might just off. But Sainz keeps the position. Max couldn't get the exit. But more importantly, as we come into the final corner, we run a little bit wide. We are going to win the Austria Spring from pole position. Let's go to the actual thing for the Austrian Grand Prix. Yes, great drive, great drive. Everyone here is really happy with that performance. Well done, mate. Good afternoon and welcome to Spielberg and to a circuit that in one form or the other has held every Austrian Grand Prix in the championship except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost the bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. If anything, the stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. Seven rights and just three left-handers make up the 10 core corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is flat out, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Brown lines up on pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Russell, Verstappen, Sonoda, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Ocon, Joe, Gasly, Stroll, Hamilton, Bottas, Magnussen, Albon, De Vries, Fittipaldi, Liam Lawson, and Logan Sargent. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who is beside me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Brown. What do you make of their performance so far this season? They've been avoiding mistakes and have had solid pace, so it's been a good season so far, but whether they can keep that up long term remains to be seen. So we're going to be doing the one stop, starting on the soft, going to the mediums then, and hopefully we can just recreate the sprint, get away well, keep the lead, break the DRS, and disappear that is the most ideal situation that is a perfect situation whether that will happen we will have to find out as now we go to the five red lights for the Austrian Grand Prix and we are racing in Austria and we've got a good start but we're straight over to cover off Lando Norris who can't get up the inside, he has to back out of it we lead into turn one then as we head up towards the hairpin we've built a gap in the background there is, is 
George and Science going wheel to wheel and George has got Science off the line then as we come out of turn 3 we've built a small gap at the start over Lando can we add to it further as on to lap 3 now the answer was no we really struggled to break the DRS in the race compared to the sprint as Lando sends it up the inside of us into turn 3 we're going to do the cutback try and get the exit but Lando takes the lead of the Grand Prix we will have DRS though to come back at our fellow Brits and we're going to send it to the outside now try and keep a pin around the outside but Lando shows us the door and slams it firmly shut in front of us and keeps the lead we try to go at the inside in a very risky place there Lando leads George now is now joining the battle Science is the later of the pace in the Ferrari but we're back on the back of Lando he's not getting away it's so hard to break the DRS here we were lucky in the sprint we go to the outside of Lando and we get him before we even get to turn three but we go a little bit wide Lando though now is going to have the DRS back but I think he's too far back to do anything and he may well come under pressure from George who's having a look to go to the outside but he hangs on there and we just couldn't break the DRS because here comes Lando back at us now on lap 6 and back into the lead but we will have the DRS to come back at him once again just like just how good this track is with the DRS allows you to fight but now Lando we haven't quite got the straight line speed have we at this moment in time we go to the outside we try and keep the pin around the outside now we've learned from lap 1 and we keep the exit get the exit we needed and we're into the lead back into the lead but we still couldn't break that DRS from Lando because here he comes again Lando up the inside we try and keep it pinned round the outside but he's got us and we try to do the cutback which I was trying to do a couple of laps ago but now with the DRS it's allowing us to get back to the outside but we're going to break late, swap in the dummy, go back up the inside and that's forced Lando wide and now George is side by side it's just like it was in the sprint between them two George tries to go to the outside but Lando holds on and on to lap 9 now and we just it's just a race of trying to break the DRS but it's so hard round here with the three DRS in a row because here comes Lando again he's up the inside Lando takes the lead of the Grand Prix you can see how hard we're battling because the Ferrari and those behind were very much in a train for the lead of the Grand Prix Lando though has got the job done and he's starting to pull away but we are going to send the dive bomb of the season up the inside of turn 3 we've nearly beached ourselves on the curb as we head down now towards turn 4 George is battling with Lando as we head down into turn 4 and the engine has gone bang and we are out it's the MG UK that is gone and are defending for the lead of the Grand Prix it has ended in retirement as our engine decides it doesn't want to be in the race anymore and that's two mechanical issues this weekend with a Mercedes engine but we're out of the Grand Prix Stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure.
well done Yuki Tsunoda came from nowhere in that race his first Formula 1 victory and he's done what we need him to do when we have a bad race or we DNF he's there to pick up the pieces and he has done that and taken points away from George which is good but George finished his second science third Lando after briefly leading after I DNF has come in for fourth and Hamilton having a shocker all the way down in seventh but that is so frustrating on our part but all I can say is thank god it was a sprint weekend I never thought I would be praising the sprint races because it has allowed us to pick up some points this weekend with being at the eight in the sprint we go from one point behind to 16 points behind and Sonoda now he's got himself in the race somewhat but he is 34 points behind us Hamilton dropping down after he briefly led the championship at the start of the season then and that's what we want to see a good championship battle so in terms of the constructors then it's kind of been a stalemate we've actually closed up a little bit with that Yuki Tsunoda win we also pull away further from Ferrari I think we can go for the constructors we can go for both titles we have a very very quick race car this season and I think we don't we can say that fairly comfortably but very very frustrating race then for us in the end the engine wasn't even that warm the, in the ICE was the warm part everything else was all right but that's not a bit that failed but overall at least we still at least we still did get points overall with the sprint race so it was damage limitation in the end this weekend in Austria you can see here how the engine popped and yeah Frustrating for us, but at least we still got some points over the weekend. But anyway, we go to the British Grand Prix next, my home Grand Prix, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.